David has just finished building his treehouse and still needs to buy a ladder to be attached to the ledge of the treehouse and anchored at a point on the ground, as modeled below. David is standing 1.3 meters from the suit supporting the treehouse. This is the point on the ground where he has decided to anchor the ladder. The angle of elevation from his eye level to the bottom of the treehouse is 56 degrees. David's eye level is 1.5 meters above the ground. So all that description here, okay, is already described in that in the diagram and it's labeled for us, which is excellent because it leaves, um, well, uh, we, we don't have to do much interpretation as far as, you know, what they're saying. Uh, determine and state the minimum length of the ladder to the nearest tenth of a meter. So I'm just going to redraw this diagram that's uh, in the zoomed in position there um, so that I can then just focus on the geometry and not have the tree or the person or any of that uh, be in the way, okay? So this is the situation that I have, and this is 56 degrees, this is 1.5, this is 1.3. And I need to figure out the length of the ladder, which I'm going to highlight here with uh, my highlighter. I need that, which seems kind of, um, which is kind of, uh, it looks challenging at first, doesn't it? So I, I recognize this, okay, that um, I'm actually dealing with two different triangles here. And one thing I want you to point out, or I want you to um, look for, is the following that um, not only am I dealing with two triangles, I'm actually also dealing with a trapezoid. So this length over here is 1.3, which means this length is also going to be 1.3, right? So I have actually information about the small triangle now. So uh, 1.3 and 56, and this is 90, right? So I can figure out what this length is. I'm going to call that x1, okay? Or actually, I'm just going to call it x. So uh, I know that x is opposite of 56 degrees, and 1.3 is adjacent to 56 degrees. So I can use the tangent ratio. Tangent of 56 is equivalent to x over 1.3. And I can solve for x now. So x is equivalent to... 1.3 tangent of 56. So now that I know what x is, I can enter that into the calculator. I can then figure out, oh, the overall length of the um, of this part right here now. Okay, I want to use a different color. I'm going to use green. So this length in green can be figured out by doing this. Well, this is just x plus 1.5, isn't it? Right? Because this length up here was x, and this length over here is 1.5. Right? So if that's the case, oh, look at that. I now can figure out the length, the, the, the highlighted length in pink. Right? So the overall triangle, right? What's x plus 1.5 now? So let's punch that into the calculator. X plus 1.5, therefore, is equal to... Let's get our calculator. So that's 1.3 tangent of 56. And make sure your calculator setting is in degree, by the way. And then plus 1.5. So that would be 3.427. Is the length of the is the height of that triangle there, and then I have 1.3, and now I can find out what the hypotenuse is by using Pythagorean theorem. So that would be 3.427 squared plus 1.3 squared, and take the square root of that. So I want to take this. I'm just going to square the answer I had before plus 1.3 squared. And I want to take the square root of everything. That would be 3.665. 
and it says right here, determine and state the minimum length of the ladder to the nearest tenth of a meter. So that would be 3.7 then. So the ladder would be 3.7 meters. Okay.